Hey guys, Aaron here. I'm about to head to the track this weekend after I just upgraded my brakes to uh, some fantastic track pads. If you wanna see that video, you can check it out here. But I have heard that this could induce ice mode, which sounds super scary and apparently it is. So I have also heard that with the PWIZ, you can uh, do something that will help solve that or at least mostly eliminate that problem. And uh, I'm gonna make another video after I do. You'll, I'll have a link here and one in the description to go check out to see what ice mode is. But since I'm in a hurry right now, I'm just going to try to do the coding and see if we can get it fixed. So I got my PWIZ up and running. I've never seen this before. This is my first time trying it, so uh, I'll take you through it. Uh, I read a little bit about it online, but haven't found definitive instructions. So let's go try to find it. So essentially what the fix is, is to program your car to think that you have the ceramic brakes. And uh, I believe that we're going to go into the PSM section here. And we're gonna click next. So this is the uh, Porsche stability management. Uh, my car just did a little beep. And then on this top bar, I'm gonna click on coding adaptations right here. And then I'm going to go to basic coding and click next. And I got this far before and it didn't, it looked like a dead end, so I went back. But if you actually select this vehicle description and click next again, bada, look, we have the option that we want. So this is as far as I have gotten. So what I want to do is uh, click this over here to say that it is installed. I've also heard that anything here that is true on your car, you need to actually select, even if it's not already selected here. So this is a USA car, but mine is a manual, so I'm not going to select those things. And I'm gonna click next. And let's see what happens. Coding in progress, chink, 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 chink. And I got a little check mark status, so that should be a good thing. I have read that if you get a 5281 error version coding incorrect, that means that you probably didn't check some of those things on the next screen that you were supposed to have. So now I'm going to click next and we are back here. So let's see what happens if I go back into basic coding again, select this. Okay, well, it looks like they are not installed right here, but you see this group is M numbers. So I saw something about this before. Let me go all the way back to my overview, back into the DME, and let me do coding adaptations again. And then vehicle data, maybe? Let's see. Yeah, all right, so now it gives me all of these things and there was an M numbers. So let's see what happens if I go to M numbers to see what I have installed on here. So let me scroll through here, USA, Canada. Hmm, okay, I don't see it. I thought maybe that would pop up here now. All right, so I'm gonna go back into this vehicle description here. Select these two again and click next. Again, it says it was completed successfully. So number 450, ceramic brakes, hmm, still not checked. I was expecting that to be checked. All right, I'm gonna try something else. I am going back to the DME, going to coding adaptations. I'm gonna to go to vehicle data again, click on next. I'm gonna scroll down to the M numbers again, click next. All right, I'm gonna scroll down and 450 is not there. So I'm going to click this new button down here 
And that gives me a box up here with a drop down. And I'm going to go down to 450 ceramic brake PCCB. Okay. Now I have selected those. Now I'm going to write. Writing vehicle data. Okay, so now when I scroll down, that shows up here. So I have written it into my vehicle data to make it think that that is installed, I hope. So let me go back all the way over here to overview PSM, come back into here, and then back to my coding adaptations. Basic coding again. This guy next. Okay, now I'm going to do this again. And all right, now if I go back into basic coding again, hmm, still does not show the check mark installed like I would have hoped. Although it says it's successful every time. So, huh, all right, whether or not I have this is still a mystery. Okay, well, it works, it runs, didn't blow up. So uh, let me know if there was something else I missed. I don't know how to tell if it actually worked. So leave me a comment. And if I have any follow-up videos because of you, or if I learned something new, I will be sure to have a follow-up video, so look for that. Uh, I'll put a link here if there is one. Um, also in the description, so please check that. Um, I hope this video was helpful, so give it a thumbs up, or if it wasn't helpful, leave me a comment. Let me know what I missed so I can fix it and make a better follow-up video. So this is the best I could do on the limited information that I could find at the moment. So thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.